What's up YouTube, Drudist here and starting with the Android tutorials, I would like to start with the ADB. A lot of people have been asking for the easiest way to set up the ADB in any Windows service, so this is it. Basically, I've provided the download for this in the link. I mean, the link is given in the description below, make sure you download it and then paste it anywhere you want. So you'll find it in a zip format, inside which you will have these files. First step extract it anywhere you want so I'll extract it in desktop and then I'm gonna cut this open up my computer head towards C drive so C drive is the easiest way to access to it so I'm saving it there or even you can even put it in any drive you want D drive F drive or anything after the this done uh, open up my computer again go to system properties head towards advanced system settings and over here you will find environment variables so hit that and find for path in the second window down here so this one is it hit edit and at the end of the codes you'll find a long series of codes so at the end of these codes after the semicolon go to the directory where you have saved the ADB and then just copy this directory and then paste it right after the semicolon and then give a semicolon again so basically if you're trying for an ADB command by using the CMD obviously we'll be using CMD for all those ADB command you hit ADB you'll find this it's because the system cannot recognize it but now when you have given the directory where the ADB is saved and hit OK, OK and OK. After that, if you open CMD and hit the command as ADB, you'll find such big coding. So this is because system can recognize where the ADB is saved. And that is it. So this uh, ADB is kind of used for pushing or pulling or even installing system files to your device. Now most of the videos will ask you to download Android SDK which is about 400 MB to 500 MB so you don't need that this is just about MB oh it's just 652 KB just download that and do as I said and then you're ready for ROM development but if you want to go for Android apps development then you gotta download the Android SDK package so that is it about setting up of ADB, it's noob friendly guide. So if you liked it, then hit a like and subscribe to see more of these tutorials and I'll talk to you next time. Are you ready for the